Hey, scholarly eagles. Today we're looking at subject and predicate. So remember that the subject of the sentence is who or what the sentence is about. So we're looking for a noun or a pronoun to be the subject. We're also looking for the predicate, which is usually the verb. So remember that a verb is an action word and it could be from typed, called, listened, or it could be our helping verbs like was, am, are. So we're looking for all types of themes when we're looking at subject and predicate. And to be a complete sentence, you have to have both a subject and a predicate because we have to have the person or thing that, this, that the sentence is about and what the person or thing is doing, okay? So let's take a gander or look down here at number one. Now the directions for this one says, in each sentence below, you're gonna underline the subject and circle the simple subject. Okay, so we're gonna underline the subject. If I can get my pen to work. There we go. And then we're going to, we'll just do the same color. We're going to circle the simple subject. So remember that the simple subject is just one word, whereas the whole subject will include adjectives or articles. An adjective is a word that we use to describe, and an article are the small words like the or a, okay? So let's take a look at our first one here. Mina typed on the computer keyboard. Okay, well, Mina is our subject, and it's also our simple subject because there's no other words that describe her. So we're just going to do that. And to see if we're right, we're just going to look to see what Mina is doing and see if that takes up the rest of the sentence. Well, when I ask what is Mina doing, the answer is she typed on the computer keyboard. Well, typed is the action because that's me typing. So I know that that's that's where our subject stops. All right, let's take a look at number two. The first grade teacher wrote the lesson on the board. So who is doing something in this sentence? Well, when I'm looking here, I can see that it's a teacher. What kind of teacher is it? Oh, it's a first grade teacher. And here's my article, the. So I'm going to underline all of that, the first grade teacher, because that is our complete subject. It's telling me who, and it's telling me an adjective about who it is. So it's telling me first grade, the first grade teacher, that means that that's the adjective and the article is there. So now we need the simple subject. What is one word that'll describe this person? Well, the, no, that doesn't describe. First, no, that's an adjective for sure. Grade, no, that's not telling me the person. Teacher, ah, there you go. So teacher it is, bloop, 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 doo, doo, doo. scribble, 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 there we go. Now, to check my work, let's see what the teacher did. The teacher wrote the lesson on the board. What did the teacher do? Wrote the lesson. So wrote is my verb. So I know that it stops right here at wrote. All right, so let's go down to look at our predicate. And let's change the color up a little bit. Let's go with, let's see if we can customize my color. It doesn't look like it. Um, let's do black. Okay, I guess we'll, no, I don't, because black will just kind of, oh, uh, red. Okay, y'all know I don't like the color red, but here we go. All right, so in each sentence, we have to underline the predicate and we're gonna circle the simple predicate. That's a really bad circle, but, ooh, these mouse, mouse, mice. I wonder which one it is.
anyway, back to our work. Um, we're looking for the simple subject, I mean, simple predicate and the complete predicate. So remember now, sorry, now we aren't looking for who is doing something. We're looking to see what is being done. Okay, so we're going to look for that verb. And remember that the verb is doing something. So let's see what this is, what's going on in number seven. Alan and Brian walk to the store on Main Street after school. Well, I know that the subject is Alan and Brian. Those are the people that are doing something. So what are they doing? Oh, well, they walked. Well, that's my simple predicate because that's one word. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Now I've got to go from walked to the period and that's going to be my predicate. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Let's try our next one. The enthusiastic fans cheered when they saw the soccer game score. Hmm. Who are they talking about? The fans. So I know that's my subject. What did my fans do? Oh, they cheered. Okay, so one word is the simple predicate. So we're going to cheered. Oops. That's my simple predicate. And remember that your complete predicate is going to go from cheered, the verb, all the way to the end of the period. Because what did the fans do? They cheered when they saw the soccer game score. They didn't just cheer randomly, only when they saw the score of the game. All right, my friends. So now it's your turn. You're going to do numbers three, four, five, six, nine, 10, and 11 all on your own. 